The real commitment that we have to have to have a successful program is year round, but for six months we're spending time in the gym, on planes, and trains, and automobiles throughout the nation. But they understand the commitment it's going to take for Cal Poly basketball to be a nationally prominent program. Balance! Balance! Good! Joe Calero, head men's basketball coach, Cal Poly. First and foremost, we got to find great young men that can get it done in the classroom. Student athletes at Cal Poly is not a little term that we use, it's a reality. Smart, smart, smart. We were second in conference last year, but we also had a team GPA spring and summer quarters. When most people lose their concentration, our guys really buckled down and, and had a combined team GPA of over 3.0. It's a total team approach to everything we do at Cal Poly, and that's key. Family. The number one thing every coach that has any success understands the most important thing is the guys that you're working with. Big West help side. We have assistant coaches are committed to the program. You gotta be playing for other people. Once you're selfless, the program can grow beyond the limits that we think that it can. I got a Cal Poly jersey and I rebound. Everybody's a selfish rebounder. I rebound. If you get one, we get two. And we've gotta be a, a group of guys that are not just playing to be Cal Poly basketball players. We're playing for each other. We're playing for our university. We're playing for our community. And we're playing for our alumni base. <laughs> David Hansen has a chance to really have an outstanding season. He was second team all conference last year. I see him as really being a key leader to this program this year. He's quicker, stronger, more aggressive. Amari Furman, the point guard out of New York City who will probably be a starter for us. Will Donahue is a six foot seven, 245 pound center for us. He was third in the Big West in rebounding, of eight and a half a game. And then we look at Jordan Lewis, guy who's been in the program for four straight years, earned a full scholarship here. Jordan's our, our fix it man. He can play the two, three, four man. We also have Matt Titchenell, came off the bench, but gave us great defense, knocked down a, a, a shot here or there. Chris Eversley was a redshirt transfer from Rice University, kid out of Chicago. Active feet, CE, active feet, move your feet. Communicate, loud and clear, loud and clear. There we go. For a coach, you want your biggest problem to be you have too many players. And right now, we have too many good players. Kyle Ottister, he was a freshman of the year. He's coming back and is a great shooter off the bench for us. Drake Yuyu has really stepped up and has competed for a starting spot. Drake has the ability to drive. And then Dylan Royer, a local product for us here. Any day, any practice, any game, knock down big shots for us. In the sophomore class, we have Jamal Johnson, a point guard who came off the bench for us last year to compete as a starter for us this year. Malik Love, and he was actually Big West Conference Freshman of the Year. Reese Morgan was a third team Parade All-American, is probably one of the best shooters I've ever recruited or had in our team. And on top of that, Joel Alwich is another red shirt. So we feel like that depth really is critical for our success this year. We finished third, I believe, in the nation, defending the three-point line. We don't want to lose our defensive emphasis, but the reality is we need to become more explosive on the offensive end. Declare, declare and assume it quicker, more aggressively. Having that spurt ability and explosiveness to score baskets, hit threes, and get out in the fast break and get a dunk for the fans. Recruiting has been fantastic, and, and I tell you, the reason a recruit wants to come to Cal Poly, first and foremost, is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the nation. Five, ten minutes from the beach, we really think this is a special place, and we're able to recruit around the United States because Cal Poly athletics and Cal Poly basketball specifically is really a number one choice for people right now. Family, well, we're really trying to raise the schedule every year, but also we've worked hard to get a team like St. Mary's, a perennial top 40 team down here in Mott Gym. So the Central Coast fans have something to look forward to, coming to home games going, wow, we got St. Mary's, they were in the tournament a couple years ago. I really feel that when, when Mott is hot, meaning we've got our community involved, we've got our students involved, we've got our boosters involved, we've got all our staff and faculty there. When Mod is hot, I think we have the best venue in the Big West. The Big West is loaded with great teams. I think many coaches have stated that this is probably the best the Big West has been in over a decade. Remember, this journey is going to be hard work. It's a journey every day. But we feel honestly that we're in a position to knock some of those teams off and fight for a championship banner. You got your balance, get your feet under you, powered up. Nice, nice. We have the games, we have the team, and now we're gonna have the excitement building for the year to compete for a conference championship and get here on this stage and celebrate on this campus how exciting it would be to have Cal Poly basketball going to the dance.
You know, going to Costa Rica was not a vacation. It was a working business trip. We played against the Costa Rican national team, and we lost them in the first game, came back, bounced back, and beat them by 20 the second game. We played against their number one pro team down there in Barva. That experience was, was primary to improve our basketball skills. We came back to the community. We went and visited uh, an orphanage and spent some time uh, kind of sharing our time with others. After we did all our hard work, we got the chance to go on the zip lines and hit the beach and, and uh, body surf and that type of stuff. And those are memories that will last a lifetime. And all also help our program move forward. Joe, your hair looks amazing. Well, I'm slicking, baby. All right. Okay. Uh, Joe, Joe Riley, uh, baby. Go ahead. Joe, please introduce yourself to me and your title here at Cal Poly. Joe Calero, head basketball coach. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's do that again. Okay, let's do that again. Joe Claro, head men's basketball coach. Cal Poly head men's basketball coach? Yeah, I'll never complete that. Right. Joe Claro, Cal Poly head men's basketball coach. Now take a deep breath for me. Look at me. <sighs> say, say your name and position again. Joe Claro, head men's basketball coach, Cal Poly. Additionally, but, uh, is really a number one choice for people right now. Additionally, those three coaches that are on the floor are critical to our recruiting, they're critical to our program, and we're excited to have them and build farther, build the program, and take the program to another step. Edit that. T, 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 T. How long? Five, six, seven. He got fouled three times, so he traveled. He got grabbed, got pushed three times. Can we get him out of the key one time tonight? The guy goes here, he goes there, he goes there, he goes there, and then he falls down. He never once left the key. First dead, media, dead ball, dead after four, 